Oh, it's gonna be five bucks. Wow. If you're the kind of person that loves to put your foot in your mouth, this recipe is for you. Hi everyone, welcome back to Cravings Food Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed on this very special Halloween episode. We're making feet loaf. Now this meat loaf is absolutely delicious. It's stuffed with boiled eggs and it's baked in an oven. It looks exactly like a gross foot and it's finished off with some blood. It is delicious. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I upload lots of videos every week, so make sure that you're subscribed. Also, ring the bell, that's YouTube's new bell icon, that will notify you every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get cooking. Let's start with some onion and garlic. I have a quarter onion. Now this is roughly going to be about a quarter cup and four cloves. I'm just going to give this a quick blitz. Add one pound, that's about 500 grams of ground beef, one teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of cumin powder, and one teaspoon of chili powder. I'm going to add some salt to taste. I've added about one and a half teaspoons and a whole egg. Now give this a really good blitz. This looks like a great consistency. I'm going to add a half cup of coriander. This is fresh coriander or cilantro. And I'm going to process this again. Now just look at this. As always, I like to taste this before I cook the whole batch. Just fry up a small amount to check the seasoning. I'm just going to clear up and remove all of the ground meat and put it into a dish. I'm going to cover this and stick this in the fridge. It's really best to work with this when the meat is really nice and chilled. I've boiled four eggs and I'm just going to slice a little bit of three of them just so they don't slide all over the place. I'm going to be using an oven proof dish and the idea is that I'm going to serve this out of the same dish. Take about half of the mixture and I'm just going to place this over the eggs. Add a bit more of that beet mixture near the toe area and I'm going to try to shape this like a foot. Make a well in the heel area and add the fourth egg. I'm going to use a butter knife to shape the foot and carve out the toes. Using the last bit of ground beef, I'm just going to cover up the egg and shape the ankle. For the toenails, I found that a white onion is the most natural looking because of its natural curve. Simply cut and shape the toenails and keep these aside. Keep smoothing out and shaping the toes. First, I'm going to brush the toe area with some beaten egg and then I'm going to place the toenails. Now the egg is going to help this stick to the feet. Now you can literally leave this as is, but my hubby went to our butcher and got this bone for me. I just boiled it in some boiling water and it's ready to go. I'm going to add a bit of egg at the bottom just to secure it and I'm going to add the bone. I'm going to take some of that ankle meat and I'm going to shape it around the bone so it looks realistic. 
Brush beaten egg all over the foot to give it a nice smooth finish. Now I'm going to cook this in a preheated 350 degree oven for one hour. While this cooks, I'm going to work on the blood that's going to pool around the foot. Heat up one can of condensed tomato soup and I'm going to add the same measure of water. I'm going to add salt, hot sauce and I'm just going to heat this. Once the foot is ready, I'm going to pool the blood aka the tomato sauce right around the foot and I'm also going to pour some from the bone and ankle area. Now this may look super gross, but it's delicious and it cuts the same way as a standard meatloaf. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings Food Adventures. I really hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for feet loaf. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel, guys. I upload tons of videos every week, so make sure that you're subscribed. Also, share my channel and my videos with your family and friends. Make sure to ring that bell. That's YouTube's new bell icon that will notify you every time I upload a new video. And follow me on all of my social channels. I upload a ton of behind the scenes footage there. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and even Snapchat. Till I see you next time. Happy Halloween, guys. Bye.